Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more binary news, your daily dose of focused gaming news, myself Amata. Today is still the 14th of August and this time I have some news for you regarding the PS4's share play feature which of course will be coming in the next update 2.0 to the PlayStation 4. Now Sony has thankfully shed a little bit of light on how the share play feature is actually going to work which as you probably know is a feature that will let you play a friend's PS4 game even if you don't own a copy and this is of course via remote play. Now Shuhei Yoshida did explain it in an interview with Weekly Famitsu which was helpfully translated by Kotaku and he said quote how it works is for example say a friend has a game that I don't I ask them to let me play it and if they send me an invitation I can access their PS4 and play while watching the video that is streamed you can call it a mini PlayStation now and in this interview Yoshida was basically insisting that any game which is played with the DualShock 4 i.e a game that is not the playroom will be compatible for sh with share play and he said quote there is no need for developers to do anything for their games to be compatible for share play now what's rather good as well and definitely a 100% needed feature is that players will also be able to save game data to their own account so basically if you make it halfway through a game via share play before you go oh screw it I'm just going to buy the game you can just pick up where you left off on your own console now, due to the streaming nature of SharePlay, it basically it means that you won't be able to use your PS4 for anything else while a friend is playing a game on it. So you're basically handing over control of your system to someone else. So it's obviously not a feature you should just give anyone access to. But I think most of you, to be honest, knew that anyway before they even detailed it. I don't think any of you would be silly enough to go around handing over control of your console to some random stranger. Now what I'm wondering though is that is there going to be any sort of limitation on how much you can play of one game via share play because if you can if there's no limit then it's very easily exploitable you could basically just buy a game between two people just for example one of you plays it on their PS4 then you the other one just plays it via share play and there you go you've completed the game without having to buy two copies of it so i think there's probably going to be some sort of limitation on how long you can play otherwise it is pretty easy to take advantage of to be honest um he didn't detail anything this time but perhaps when we get a more of a full lowdown before it's released we'll know exactly how it's going to work i would imagine that sony have very much taken this into consideration they don't want you to just be able to play for free completely it's basically sort of like a teaser demo if you wish to give your friend a try of the game to see if they like it and if they want to purchase it for themselves it's probably how it's intended um, co-op would also be lovely but whether or not that will happen is tough to say anyway that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time